The Cardinals trade for superstar Nolan Arenado this week seems like a lopsided deal in the Cardinals' favor. No complaints from me. Not at all. Uh, <laughs> in this week's Doug Unplugged, Doug Vaughn can hardly keep a straight face when breaking down the trade. I've tried to subjectively analyze the Nolan Arenado trade, try to think maybe, what were the Rockies thinking? <laughs> Even their owner hates the trade. <laughs> I have anguished for uh, many sleepless nights wondering why, uh, why that happened. This is one of the biggest steals in the history of baseball. One of the pitching prospects going from the Cardinals to the Rockies had an ERA the last time he pitched in the low minors of 529. <laughs> That's not so good. To be quite honest, I would probably feel the same way. The Rockies also picked the Cardinals' pocket for a minor league infielder who hit 188 in his last year in the minors. He hit 188. If I had my brothers, I would rather have Nolan Arenado. Well, you had him, but you gave him away, and you sent to the Cardinals $50 million to help pay for him. We don't discuss financial details. I wouldn't either if I was you. The Cardinals got one of the greatest third basemen who's ever played the position. The fact that uh, Nolan isn't going to be here, I, I, we can't make up for that. No, I don't think you'll be able to. In the past, the Rockies have traded to the Cardinals players like Larry Walker and Matt Holliday, and now Nolan Arenado to complete the hat trick, but you got the minor leaguer who hit 188. <laughs> I'm aware uh, this is not a popular decision. No, I don't think it was. Our guy's already got the billboard. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Doug Unplugged.